Today we're going to take a look at the Panasonic DVX200 with the Atomos Flame series. The DVX200 is the world's first 4 3rd sensor that's 4K 60p capable. This versatile camcorder has a high quality Leica 13x lens with a 5 axis image stabiliser built in. The DVX200 shoots in V-Log L, the same log curve as the GH4, making these two cameras a great pair to work side by side. With 12 stops of dynamic range and log capability, the 4K DVX200 meets the requirements to shoot HDR. With Atom HDR engaged, you are now able to see more of what the camera's sensor is seeing. This is possible due to the 10-bit processing and 1500-nit high bright panel. HDR, or high dynamic range, is about displaying a wider brightness range, closer to what the human eye can see. With the wider brightness range, you get more detailed highlights and more detailed deeper blacks at the same time. Now you can shoot HDR with your log camera. Also monitor and expose correctly with your Atomos monitor. This is definitely a seeing is believing type of technology. So to demonstrate, we're showing you SDR and HDR footage to compare. Now edit and grade for HDR using your flame as your reference monitor. Finally, you can deliver a master that's ready to display on HDR TV panels that are being sold to consumers right now. There are a few key image analyzing tools on the Atomos Flame that will ensure that you optimize your log footage. The waveform is an essential tool for making sure that you do not under or overexpose your shots. By engaging the focus peaking function on the flame, you can select the edge color that contrasts your scene. This way you can be confident that your pictures are sharp. Here's how we set up the DVX200 and the flame series. Connect the DVX200 via HDMI to your Atomos 4K recorder. Power up the DVX200 and the Atomos recorder. Pull out the touch screen. Go to icons and hit menu. Touch the down arrow once and enter the output setup. Set the output select to HDMI. Set the resolution to system. Return back to the main menu. Touch the up arrow and go to menu 1 over 3. Hit system mode. Setting your system frequency to 5994 will allow recording in 2997 and 2394 4K UHD on your Atomos 4K recorder. In system mode, go to output format and select your desired resolution and frame rate. If you select 24p, the system frequency will change to 24Hz. This will also restart the camera. Back in system mode menu, setting the system frequency to 50Hz will allow recording in 25p 4K UHD, as well as 1080p 50 and 1080p 25 on your Atomos 4K recorder. Enter into system mode menu. Go to output bits. To record with the Atomos recorder in 10-bit, select 422 10-bit. The Panasonic DVX200 cannot record internally in 10-bit mode, so its record function will be disabled. In 10-bit mode, the DVX200 record button cannot trigger your Atomos recorder, so you have to assign one of the camera's user buttons to trigger. To do this, return to the main menu. Touch User SW. Select a user button that you'd like to assign to. Select Auto Rec. Return to the main menu. In the main menu, go down to Output Setup. Set SDI Remote to On. Set Remote Rec Link to Off. Press the down arrow. Set HDMI TC Output to On. Exit the menu. Now you are ready to record 10-bit on your Atomos 4K recorder. To record in 8-bit, place a Panasonic recommended SD card into media slot 1. The DVX200 can record internally in 8-bit mode while sending an 8-bit signal out to the Atomos recorder, allowing for simultaneous recording. Go to the system mode menu. To record with the Atomos recorder in 8-bit, select 422 8-bit. Return to the main menu. Hit the down arrow until you get to output setup. Set SDI remote to on. Set Remote Rec Link to On. Touch the down arrow. Set HDMI TC Output to On. Press Exit to clear the screen. Now you are ready to record 8-bit onto your Atomos recorder while recording internally to the DVX200.
If you're connecting an SDI cable to your recorder, note that you can only record up to 1080 with this configuration. Connect the DVX200 via SDI to your Atomos Shogun or Inferno. In the Output Setup menu, change the Output Select to SDI. On your Atomos Shogun screen, make sure the input is set to SDI. While you are there, set the trigger to Panasonic Type 3 and Enable Trigger will turn on. In a 1080p recording operation mode, a system frequency of 5994Hz will allow for 1080p 5994 or 1080p 2997 with 2 2 pull down and 1080p 2398 with 2 2 pull down. A system frequency of 50Hz will allow for 1080p 50 or 1080p 25 with 2 2 pull down. In the main menu, touch on Scene File. Touch the up arrow so you reach Scene File Menu 6 over 6. Touch on VLOG and then select On. Hit Exit to clear all the menus from your screen. On your Atomos 4K recorder, in HDR mode, select Panasonic VLOG. The combination of the DVX200 and the Flame series proves to be a great solution for video journalism, documentary, indie films and events. The long range lens, amazing picture quality and HDR capability direct to ProRes recording makes this setup a pretty serious contender. So there you have it, the DVX200 and the Flame series. For more information go to Atomus.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and also Instagram. And as always, happy shooting.